Huge thank you to the people over at Skillshare for sponsoring today's episode. Off-white pores. Got the off-white pores, man. So Them hard. Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters. Tell Feezy. All the rings are just from little shops around here. The crystal ones are from Crystal Blue. Gallery department. A little off-white. Balenciaga. Balenciaga. The hoodie's a Vetmont hoodie. Vetmont. And then the skirt is a Vetmont skirt, too. Okay. And then these are Vetmont jeans. And then Ooh. these are just Balenciaga derbies. How would you describe your style? Um, shit, I'm just chilling today, bro. That's yeah, it, you bro. just woke up yeah. and got fly. That's yeah, what most yeah. people said. Like, yeah, I didn't even think chilling. about it. I just woke up and put this on. Yeah, hell yeah. What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video back on my channel. Now, as you all can see by today's title, we're gonna be going up to people today and asking them a simple question, what are you wearing? Now, first things first, I wanna give a shout out to two content creators that I originally seen do it first. Unknown Vlogs, also known as Icy Cove. Definitely check him out, he does a lot of fashion content as well. And secondly, Tristan Payne. He's another YouTuber that focuses a lot on what are people wearing when he goes to these different locations. So definitely check their channels out after you watch this video. But nonetheless, shout out to them for giving me the inspiration to do my own take. So the location that I will be going to to ask people what are you wearing is Lennox Mall. Now yes, I'm gonna be pulling up to Lennox Mall without a bulletproof vest. But the reason why I personally picked Lennox Mall is because I know for a fact before I moved down to Atlanta, every single time I came to visit, Lennox Mall was always a place that I had to go. Even though I didn't wanna buy anything. Also, I will be going to Little Five Points, which is more so like a vintage fashion shopping district, I would say. So I'm gonna go down there, and if I actually catch anybody that has an outfit that's unique in my opinion, I'll stop them and ask them what they're wearing. But before we head out and get our day started, I do wanna tell you guys about our beautiful sponsor of today's episode, Skillshare. I know a lot of y'all are into entrepreneurship and creative work like myself and the cool thing about Skillshare is that they offer so many different classes ranging from so many different categories so if you like art you could take classes ranging from illustration to animation graphic design music whatever the case may be any of those that fall under the art category if you do end up taking the class you will truly be able to say you gain something from it when I was going through the site to find a course that personally resonated with me the most I found one called find your style the five exercises to unlock your creative identity and you all know that that is one thing that we talk about a lot on this channel to find your style so i thought it was really cool that they had a course to something that was relevant in my life and when i watch it i can feed that information that i learned from the course back to you all so with that being said i have a great opportunity for the first a thousand subscribers to click the link down in the description if you have the will to learn and you want to increase your creativity you'll get a one month free trial of skillshare and you can start looking through the courses today and figure out what your new interests are and what you want to learn about so again huge thank you to skillshare for sponsoring today's episode now let's get back to the video and see what some people wearing today in Atlanta. Let's go. All right, bro. I love the outfit. Run down what you're wearing today. Got the minimal hoodie. Got this okay. from minimal t-shirt. Got it from this store right here for real. Okay. James Minimal, off white fours. Got the off white fours, man. Them rings. hard. Appreciate you. Man. So, what rings do you have on? I want to run down the rings. I don't even know, bro. I got this from like some some thrift store. Okay. And this one from some thrift store too. Okay. What inspired today's outfit? Like, how would you describe your style? Uh, I just threw it on for. Real. Wake up and yeah, get fly. Yeah, I feel bro. it. I feel it. What's your Instagram? You so it's if anybody a, likes to fit, they can follow you. Uh, F dot holiday. So that's E V. Dot holiday with two okay, L's. for sure. I love it fit, man. Appreciate Be easy. You, Thank you. Can you run Appreciate down what you're wearing today? This uh, is a cold one. Just found a little 30 year old political <laughs> statement shirt. My Levi jean jacket and some, uh, some dirty chucks. You okay, know? man. You got to keep it original with the chucks. What inspired exactly, today's exactly. outfit? Like, how would you describe your style? My style right now is just, you know, vintage hipster. Okay. Just doing my thing. Man, for sure. What's your Instagram? If anybody likes to fit, they can follow you. I tap am. In. Not on Instagram, actually. Oh, you're not yeah. on? I respect that, That's man. People in 2022, out. you're not hearing that, bro. I'm trying, I'm trying to keep my mental, keep okay. the noise out, you know? I love that, man. Yeah. Well, thank you again for being on the video. Be safe. Thank you. I appreciate you. it, you too. Can you tell the people what you're wearing today? Thrifted top. Thrifted. Cool. Ball runners. Okay. She got his thrifted too. Thrifted cardigan. Uh, Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters. Tell Feezy. Cool. So if y'all can describe your style in one word or the inspiration behind your style, what would it be? 
I wear like, a lot of workwear stuff. A lot of workwear? Yeah. I see you like the Earth Tones. Are those comfortable, yeah. the uh, Wave Runners? Oh no, those are not the Wave Runners. Those are the Foam Runners. Yeah. Comfortable. Comfortable. Hella comfortable? Yeah. For yeah. sure. If you could describe your style, what it would it be? Ooh. Dang. Uh, earth Tones. Um, Anything that just looks good on brown skin. I'm really okay. into that. Anything For Afrocentric, sure. really. You can see my hair. Cool, yeah. I like that. For yeah, sure. That's about it. What's up, man? My name's Nick. I'm in Little Five. I got the Wave Runners on. Cool. I got some regular pack sun pants and then like a vintage Lacoste little sweater. Okay, for sure. Where's the hat yeah. from? Is that oh, a. We got the vintage hat as well. Okay, the, the tote bag. Yeah. We got. Shout out to Virginia Highlands Books. Okay, cool. We got the tote. For sure. So if you could describe your style in one word or the inspiration behind your style, what would it be? Uh, it'd be like mostly vintage stuff. Mostly so, vintage? Uh, that's why I kind of like these. They give up kind of the, the yeah, dad I love It goes those. really nice with vintage clothes. I love those. Sure, Man, so. well, do you have your Instagram? Yeah, my Instagram is at Nick Del Gurcio. For sure. Y'all give him a follow. Thank you for being on today's episode. Have a good one, man. Start with you. What are you wearing from head to toe? Uh, some like thrifted like <laughs> t-shirt that I just cropped. Okay. Uh, regular like tank top wife beater from like polo, I think. Cool. <laughs> some thrifted dickies. I think like 98. Yeah, those are fire. And some Rockport like, I guess like Guidi boots. So if you could describe your style in one word or tell me the inspiration behind your style, what would it be? Uh, some of it's like streetwear. Like I'll throw some streetwear fits with like one, Jordan ones and Dunks and stuff. Okay. And then like some of them are like trying like be like high fashion. Like okay, so like, like having that bridge between both. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's stuff hella like cool. That. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate that. Now can you run down your <laughs> outfit? Yeah, I'm wearing my shirt is from Anthropology, and cool. then my rings are from all over, like thrifted <laughs> and stuff. And then my pants are thrifted. They're Wild Oats pants, and then I just have on some Birk Boston Birkin. Socks. Are those comfortable? I've always They're really so wanted the uh, closed toe. Oh my gosh, Man, those I've are had fire. them for years. They're so comfortable. <laughs> cool. So if you could describe your style in one word or the inspiration behind it, what would it be? I don't know. I feel like I get ins a lot of inspiration from like art and okay. to, uh, like social media. A lot of people I follow, I see a lot of cool stuff. And That's Pinterest, super cool. So, yeah. I love the outfit. Run it down from head to toe. Well, appreciate it, bro. This is just a um, um, a J Balvin, more Kami, uh, Scully. Okay. Um, Travis Scott, Fragment Varsity. Yep. Um, Ice Cream, uh, a long sleeve. Okay. Um, a Rude Pants. Rude uh, Pants. Travis Scott Nikes. Yeah. Man, so what is the favorite? What is your favorite aspect of this outfit, and how would you describe your style? Um, shit, I'm just chilling today, bro. That's yeah, it. you just woke up yeah. and got fly. That's yeah, what most yeah, people yeah. said. Like, yeah, I didn't even think chilling. about it. I just woke up and put this on. Yeah, hell yeah. So I'm wearing um, vintage Austrian uh, combat boots. Those are fire. Thank I you. love the shape on those, Thank too. you. I think they're um, Vietnam War era, if I'm not mistaken. The cargos are from Random Identities. Um, the sweater is from a brand called Pain Star. All the rings are just from little shops around here. The crystal ones are from Crystal Blue. Um, just some leather accessories I found at like various artisanal markets. Okay. And I got the raft tote. Not raft, the Rick tote. Oh, the my Rick bad. tote. Yeah. Where are the glasses from? I like the shape of those glasses. These are vintage too. These Man. are vintage from like the 90s, I think. Okay, cool. Yeah. Necklace? Uh, the necklace also just from a little uh, boutique in the middle of nowhere, Washington, that my partner got me. Amazing. So yeah. if you could describe your style in one word or the inspiration behind your style, what would it be? Yeah. Um, the style I try to evoke kind of, I kind of want to like line it up with like my other tastes like in media right. and music. Okay. Um, I like a lot of very like niche online circles, specifically like from the mid to late 2000s. So okay. like video games like the Sonic franchise, like a bunch That's of like super cool. late, um, like 2000s anime, like Soul Eater, Full Metal Alchemist. Um, okay. I listen to a lot of music that harkens back to that era as well. Um, Six and Paula, Gex, um, yeah, that's cool, Death man. Grips. Um, so kind of like, it's hard to put, it's hard to pinpoint what sort of a visual right, just, represent, representation of that everything. culture. Yeah. yeah. That makes it. That makes yeah. a lot of sense, man. Like I really like your style. It's definitely true to you, man. That's, Thank you. That's what's most important. I love both of y'all outfits. We're gonna start with you, man. Run down your outfit from head to toe. All uh, right, I got uh, black sheep. It's from Gurren Bros. Okay. 
I got this denim jacket from Urban Outfitters. Cool. This shirt is actually from my grandfather's closet. Uh, these jeans, they're carpenter jeans from Urban Outfitters. Cool. And Nike Air Maxes from Nike. Yeah, those are fire. So if you Thanks, could describe bro. your outfit or describe your style, matter of fact, in one word, or tell me the inspiration behind your style. I really like just baggy 90s streetwear. Okay. It's probably my go-to usually. Cool. Same matching hat, um, different, but same brand. Um, a lot of this is from Urban Outfitters. This sweater is from Urban Outfitters. This shirt is. These jeans are as well. Cool. This belt is Brandy Melville. Faux leather. This is thrifted boots. Double H. Cool. Um, and a baggy bag to top it off. Okay, so if you could describe your style in one word or the inspiration behind it, what would it be? I like comfy, but also feeling like spunky, I guess. So that is all we have for Little Five Points. Um, it's starting to get a little bit dark. We're about to head over to Lenox Mall to see if we can find anybody. I did end up getting two pieces of clothing, two garments, feel me? So I don't know why I just tweet that like that. I ended up getting two pieces. I'm gonna show y'all when we get to the crib. Matter of fact, excuse me, y'all wanna go over y'all outfit for my video? Run down the outfit from head to toe? Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know what I got on. You don't even know what you got, y'all wanna do it? Nah, I feel it, bro. I feel it, man. Can you at least say hi to the vlog, then? To the who? Say what's up. Say hi to my vlog. To your who? To my to vlog. vlog. Boy, you to your channel. vlog. You got a YouTube channel. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, the Cash K. The Life of Cash K. Of Cash I just been walking around asking people what they wearing. Yeah. See what Atlanta culture like. I just moved down here, so. Where you from? Savannah. Savannah, Savannah Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. I'm trying to go to Savannah. I'm going to enjoy the water. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you like the water, if you want to relax, Savannah for you. But if you don't want to relax, you want to get lit, ATLs, you know what I'm saying? It's cool out here. I'm young. I'm 50 years old. Man, you, hey, black don't crack, though. Huh? Black don't crack, though. I, if you would have never told me that, I thought you were, like, 30. Really? Yeah. No cap. 50. Man, have a good one, though. Y'all be easy. But yeah, we're about to head over to Lennox. Hopefully I don't get shot. But yeah, that's enough talking, enough with the jokes, man. Let's hit the road, hit Linux, and see what we can get into. Y'all look beautiful today, man. Tell them what y'all wearing. Um, I got them a little Yeezy. These jeans, I think, pretty little thing. Okay, okay. Gallery department, a little off-white. Cool. Nothing much, you know. Okay, what inspired this outfit today? Just going to the mall, a little modern chic look, you know. Okay, now you on the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> Run down the outfit. This jacket is Zara. This purse is Louis Vuitton. Okay. This shirt is Zara. For These sure. pants are Zara. These are no top ducks. Um, that's it. What are you wearing right now? Uh, I'm wearing Balenciaga, Balenciaga, ASOS, Urban Outfitters, and ASOS. So what inspired this outfit? Because this is the first time I've seen the Balenciaga Crocs in person, especially the olive ones, them cold. Thanks. Um, I don't know. I just woke up and decided I wanted to be fly today. Like, I got the Cactus Jack. Okay, yeah. Cactus Jack. Look, car goes from Walmart. Okay. And Chrome Hearts. Chrome Hearts, Chrome Hearts. I like your outfit, man. Run it down from head to toe. You fly. I appreciate it. Uh, the hoodie is a Vetmont hoodie. Vetmont. And then the skirt is a Vetmont skirt, too. Okay. And then these are Vetmont jeans. Cool. And then these are just Balenciaga derbies. Okay, got the whole Vetmont fit. Wait. <laughs> Demna's the creative director of Vetmont, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, that's his brand. Got the Balenci. Okay, yeah. so that's a whole Demna fit, man. I fuck with it. So the jackets, vintage. Okay. Like from Vietnam. Cool. H and M hoodie. Cool. <laughs> Old Levi's. Okay. And the Balenci. Wait, Bronx. what kind of what model of the Levi's? Five hundred five. Five hundred five. Is yeah. that a bare knuckles? Uh, pin right there or no? Uh, uh, Luke Vicious. Okay, Luke Vicious. Yeah. Cool. Balenciaga Crocs. Yeah. What inspired? And you can also answer this. I forgot to ask you this, but what inspired <laughs> both of y'all outfits today? I just wanted to wear the Croc boots today. Okay, That's yeah, really yeah. kind of yeah, <laughs> matching up with the Crocs. What inspired your outfit today? Uh, I have no idea. I just was throwing stuff onto me. Him. Tell the people what you're wearing today. Uh, well, I have my Converse. Okay. I have my Sara jeans. This is from Sara. This is from Forever 21. This is from H&M. Okay, okay, okay. And I think that's, oh, this is from Urban Outfitters. Cool, I like that tote bag. I also noticed with your Converse, it has like a, a chunkier platform sole to it yeah, as well as like a I leather. I like it better because I have like thicker legs. And okay. 
like thinner soles make me look a little bit more chunky. So yeah. what inspired today's outfit? Because you have a blazer on too. It's very like urban yet business casual kind of, uh, you know, it's cool. I don't know. I just like being a little bit more put together. Okay. But not too put together. I got this teddy bear coat from Cider. And okay. then this inner top from Cotton On. Cool. And these jeans are from Gab. Okay. And these boots, I don't know where they're from because they were a gift. Okay, cool. Yeah. Also, the tote bag. Oh, the tote bag's actually from the Philippines. I got it from home. I know, cool. like, some family friend made it and then sold it to us. Yeah. Okay, cool. What inspired this outfit? Just since a family friend made the tote bag, go off that with the floral print? Uh, sure. I mean, this matched with, like, this top. Yeah. And I try to match my mask with, like, whatever I'm wearing. Oh, yeah. as cool. Always does that. Every single outfit, it matches with our mask perfectly. Okay. So we back at the crib, man. It is raining. Um, the weather is complete ass. I'm gonna be honest, like, like it's terrible. But yeah, we back at the crib. This was my first ever What Are People Wearing in Atlanta. I'm looking forward to doing episode two. And do not clown me in the comments. Yes, I got the pigtails in, man. I'm just trying to keep my hair out of my face so my acne, damn, why I just smack myself like that? I'm trying to keep my hair on my face so my acne can clear up. It is getting better, Um, so yeah. A lot of people have been reaching out to me like to help me stop my acne because y'all know I used to have the clearest skin ever. Um, I moved to Atlanta, I hit puberty. And uh, it turned to this. But yeah, it's getting better nonetheless. That's neither here nor there. I also picked up two items while I was down there at Little Five Points interviewing people. I got two Carhartt jackets. I got one in brown with some slight sun fading and also some distressing on it, man. Super fire. I can't wait to wear that one. And then I also got a blue denim jacket that also has some like aging and like blemishes to it, which is also from Carhartt. So yeah, that's just about gonna do it for today's video, man. If you're into fashion, music, art, or anything, culture, you are at the right place. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, click that tiny little bell right next to it so you can be notified whenever I do post a video. And last but not least, drop a like on this video because it does help out that channel a ton. And we can come together to conquer the YouTube algorithm because they play on my channel as always. But yeah, appreciate y'all for the love. Episode 2 on the way. New videos on the way, man. It's grind season. I love y'all. I will see y'all in the next one. Damn, I'm actually not dragging out the outro. Now I'm doing it because I keep talking. I will see y'all. I just can't get it right, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. I love y'all. Gang. Well, why do I keep saying gang? Like, I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.